we put aside our personal, social, cultural, and religious differences to show a powerful, resilient Muslim front. Today, we let go of the individual feuds amongst our brothers and sisters to show Houston, to show Texas, to show America, to show the world, and most importantly, to show the Zionist regime that we will never let our Palestinian brothers and sisters leave our hearts. We will never bow down and submit ourselves to the tyranny and violence that the Zionist regime unleashes on the Palestinian people. Today we stand fasted, exhausted in the Houston public, and exhausted in the Houston public to show the world what true Muslim unity looks like, to show the imperialistic powers what we will never, to show the imperialistic powers that we will never let ourselves submit in the presence of evil, in the face of all desperation and uncertainty. We will continue to stand strong and by the grace of Allah continue to condemn the actions of the Israeli Zionist regime. And we will continue to highlight the crimes committed against humanity and expose the puppetry amongst the government in front of the Western powers. We're told, we're told, we are told in our history books about the great atrocities of mankind. However, it has become increasingly apparent and evident that the world continues to shy away from the actions of the Zionist regime. In the, word of Iran, in the words of Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei, amongst the catastrophic and baneful crimes committed against humanity in recent times, there is no crime that equates the scope and the gravity of the crimes being committed against the Palestinian people, occupying one's country, permanently driving these people out of their homes and their fatherlands, and continuing the everlasting historical oppression for decades using the most horrific and wicked means of murder, crime, destruction of farmlands, destruction of homes, destruction of playgrounds where the youth of the nation enjoyed their innocence and playfulhood, the destruction of schools where the brightest of minds were occupied, the intolerant genocide of the Palestinian people. Now let me conclude by sharing some poetry about a fertile land made barren. I often think of the barren land, whose soil is so rich, irrigated from diversity. Its history is rich, its people are rich. The Jews, Christians, Muslims, bound by a single stitch, now lay in a ditch to the comfort of the wicked niche. The comfort of those who chant Shalom, we are the children of Israel. The land is ours and ours only, our right over you is God sent. Scatter as you must, we deserve this after our great ordeal. Forgetting to mention their plea is purely trivial, truly serving the imperial. Selling their tragedies for an ounce of power, a gram of recognition intertwining Judaism with their atheistic, capitalistic missions, labeling anti-Semite left and right to any opposition, showcasing new lengths of irony with the children they imprison. The children left free are in not of any better of a state. If not their mother, then their fathers are dead, always a broken estate. Greed and money in their hearts, an entire society they try to annihilate. But even after 75 years, the truth they have yet to assassinate. The truth of why this holy land will remain barren under occupation. Why the foreign crops will never outweigh the olive bearing nation. Why colonizers will fail to exterminate this God fearing population. And witness the blood of theirs be the cause of their liberation. Thank you. Free, free Palestine! Free!